Hey everyone, welcome back to AI Motion Studio. Today, we're diving into something super exciting, an amazing free alternative to 11 Labs text-to-speech called F5 TTS. If you're into text-to-speech AI and want a high-quality free option for generating realistic, fluent speech which can be installed locally, then this video is for you. So, what exactly is F5 TTS? In a nutshell, it's a powerful text-to-speech tool that leverages advanced AI models to deliver high-quality, natural-sounding voice outputs. Whether you're creating YouTube videos, podcasts, or even developing applications that require voice integration, E2F5 TTS has got you covered, all without breaking the bank. Now, let's talk about why F5 TTS stands out. First, it's built on advanced AI architecture. It simplifies many of the complex processes behind the scenes, like phoneme alignment and duration modeling, by using padding strategies to make text and speech match effortlessly. This makes it not only powerful, but also user-friendly. Plus, it supports zero-shot generation, meaning you can create speech from any text in multiple languages without needing extensive training data. And here's the kicker, F5 TTS also allows for code switching, which means you can generate speech that seamlessly switches between languages in the same sentence. The natural flow and accuracy make this ideal for creating multilingual content, voiceovers, or even unique character voices in games and animations. Now let's move on to the installation process via Pinocchio. First, head over to the Pinocchio homepage at pinocchio.computer and download the software. Once it's downloaded, install Pinocchio and open it on your computer. I won't show the installation here since I have already done that on our previous videos. Now we open Pinocchio and click the Discover button where you can browse through various AI tools. Here we find E2F5 TTS. We click on it and then hit the big Download button and then click on Install. Once that's done, you'll see a page with an Install button on the left. We click on it and wait for the entire installation process to finish. This will download every model and extension. This will take a while for the installation to complete, so be patient. After installation completes, we click pop out to open the text-to-speech UI in your browser. Now let's go to 11 Labs to generate a voiceover to compare it to the F5 TTS. Here on 11 Labs, I will use this prompt, let's hear the voiceover. Hey everyone, welcome back to AI Motion Studio. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. So as you can see, Eleven Labs is pretty good at generating realistic, natural sounding voice outputs. Now let's try the same prompt for F5 TTS. First for the F5 TTS on Hugging Face, which you can try out if you wanna test it out yourself. So we upload our audio here, then paste the same prompt. Make sure we select the F5 TTS and click Synthesize. Now let's listen to the voiceover generated. Hey everyone, welcome back to AI Motion Studio. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. So in my opinion, 11 Labs is really better than F5 TTS. Okay, let's try out the one we downloaded locally. So the same thing here. So we upload our audio here, then paste the same prompt. Make sure we select the F5 TTS and click Synthesize. Now let's listen to the voiceover generated. Hey everyone, welcome back to AI Motion Studio. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, so this is way better than the one done on Hugging Face, but still 11 Labs is much better. Now let's try using the E2 TTS. We switch to E2 TTS and click Synthesize. Now let's listen to the voiceover generated. Hey everyone, Welcome back to AI Motion Studio. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. So the result is not as good as the F5 TTS. It sounds more robotic, and you can easily tell that this is an AI voiceover. Okay, for our last example, let's try a longer prompt to see if the F5 TTS can handle a longer text-to-speech generation. But first, let's try the prompt on 11 Labs. Here on 11 Labs, I will paste a prompt and click generate speech. Now let's hear the voice over. The checkpoints support English and Chinese. If you're having issues, try converting your reference audio to WAV or MP3, clipping it to 15 seconds and shortening your prompt. Note, reference text will be automatically transcribed with whisper if not provided. For best results, keep your reference clips short, less than 15 seconds. Ensure the audio is fully uploaded before generating. 
Eleven Labs sound incredibly lifelike, especially depending on the voice clone you choose. It's amazing how closely it can mimic your voice. Sometimes you can't even tell the difference between the original and the clone. Now let's switch to F5TTS and paste the same lengthy prompt to compare its results with Eleven Labs. After pasting the prompt, we click Synthesize. Let's listen to the voiceover it generates and see how it stacks up. You at the checkpoint support English and Chinese. If you're having issues, try converting your reference audio to WAV or MP3, clipping it to 15s, and shortening your prompt. You na tio heeg reference text will be automatically transcribed with Whisper if not provided. For best results, keep your reference clips short 15s. Ensure the audio is fully uploaded before generating. As you can see, F5TTS still has some ground to cover before it can compete with Eleven Labs' text-to-speech capabilities, which I believe is currently the best in the AI landscape. For now, I will recommend using F5TTS for shorter voiceover projects such as YouTube shorts, game avatar voices, or brief commercials. But when it comes to more complex, professional-grade voiceover projects, Eleven Labs remains the top choice in my opinion. That wraps up our tutorial on the F5 text-to-speech Pinocchio installation. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.